Do your curls become super frizzy after wash day to where you have to completely re-wet your hair and soak it and restyle it every single day? I'm gonna show you how you can fix frizz when you're refreshing using just one product and without adding any water. My name is Gina and welcome back to my channel. Here we talk all things naturally curly. I love simplifying things and really helping you problem solve with your curls. And so many of you have mentioned that you have issues with refreshing, specifically frizz when refreshing. So we're gonna help solve those problems here today. I also wanted to thank Curlsmith who is kindly partnering with me for this video. I'm gonna be sharing my thoughts on the new Shake and Shine Curl Refreshing Mist. Keep in mind, this is a routine that you can do in under five minutes. It usually takes me anywhere from three to five minutes or less, but I'm going to be talking through some ways that you can prevent frizz, how to tame it, and lots more tips. That's why it's a little bit longer than three to five minutes. We are starting out with day two hair today. I do have some frizz going on, but overall my hair still looks pretty good. I mainly have frizz today just from normal wear and tear over the last 24 hours and also from humidity. My hair got a little bit puffy. Some of the curls lost definition, and I definitely have some frizz going on mainly on my ends. I would consider this like a light refresh to a medium type of refresh. To refresh, I'm going to be using the new Curlsmith Shake and Shine Curl Refreshing Mist. This is a bi-phase product, so it has both oils and other ingredients such as water and hyaluronic acid. It also has seven types of hyaluronic acid in it. It contains seaweed, aloe vera leaf juice, and lots of different oils that are really great at nourishing our curls. So this is very easy to use and you really only need this product to refresh your curls, especially when you're dealing with this type of refresh where you just have some frizz that you need to tame, you want to redefine some curls add shine and moisturize your curls to extend your wash day. You also don't even need to diffuse with this product so it's super quick. So as you can see, it is a bi-phase product so it is naturally going to separate. You're going to see those different ingredients. So all you need to do is just shake up the product. So that's the first thing I'm going to do today. Then you're just going to lightly mist your hair all over with this. And I like how this mist comes out very fine. It's not like an awkward stream that sprays into one area of your hair you definitely feel like an even layer of the product on your hair and it comes out very lightly. So you're not going to overdo it with it, which is nice. So this is similar to misting your hair down with some water to refresh, but it's actually even better because you're not having to use water, it's all in the product. And it also contains that hyaluronic acid. And hyaluronic acid is really great at hydrating and moisturizing the hair and helping with some of that moisture retention. So it's going to help our hair absorb that water and rehydrate it. Hyaluronic acid also helps to maintain balanced hydration and it helps to soften the hair. And as I mentioned, this product does contain some water as the first ingredient. So there's no need to actually add water Water to your hair. You can also take a little bit of the mist and then spray it directly on your palms to where your palms get a little bit wet and then use the product on your hands to pick up individual curls. So that's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to go around my head and just redefine any curls that look frizzy. You can also kind of separate them. So if you feel like the curl clump is just too thick like this one, this is a great time to separate them if you struggle with your curls kind of grouping together overnight and you end up with less volume, then you can definitely separate them with some of this product on your hands. This spray product also contains seaweed, which gives it a lot of slip. So if you do need to do any little bit of detangling, this is a great option to use for that. And you can also remove some of the loose hairs. A lot of times when we shed our hairs, it will kind of get trapped on refresh days and that can lead to a lot of tangles. So I do like to just kind of gradually remove them a little bit and I'm not fully raking through my hair either. So when I don't have to do a full refresh, like fully restyling my curls, I like to do sort of like a spot refresh, which is where I am just targeting those frizzy curls and I'm mainly smoothing over them. So I'm picking up a frizzy curl clump like this and I have that product on my hands and I'm just smoothing over it. That's going to help kind of lay down the frizz 
and then I will finger coil to kind of redefine them or just scrunch them up. The other nice thing about this product is it does contain ingredients that are going to help revive your curl definition. I've noticed that products that have aloe in it really help with that. This does have that aloe vera leaf juice, which is more of a lightweight form of that aloe, and it does help to redefine your curls. So this is another one where the frizz is really coming from this other random piece that's kind of woven in. So a lot of times I will try and separate that out and that will really help with frizz too because as you can see, it's really only this piece that needs to be redefined. So I'm not doing my whole head and I'm also not like raking through all of my curls. That's probably something that I would do more for a full refresh, like if it was day four or day five, but at that point I usually rewash my hair. I've really been trying to do less refreshing overall, using less products when refreshing and really just focusing on touch-ups. One other little trick is if you have a lot of flyaways, you can kind of smooth them down. I still have a little bit of that product on my hand, but not a ton. I'm sort of smoothing over the surface and then tucking it in by pressing my fingers into the curl clumps, but I'm not fully raking my hands through, if that makes sense. I'm kind of just smoothing it and tucking it in. And we will kind of fluff out the roots at the end to help get some more volume once the hair is fully dried. So I can already tell a difference in the side that I've already refreshed and the side that I have not refreshed. You can see that the side that I haven't touched yet is definitely more frizzy. I have a lot more of these undefined curls sticking out, specifically on the ends, and I have a lot more flyaways. I'm also noticing a lot more shine. I also really like how this product is not sticky or drying. It doesn't contain any drying alcohols in it. And I also like that it's not super sticky and it doesn't make my hair feel like gunky. You've probably heard me mention before how I often don't use a lot of refresh sprays. I will usually just use the products that I used on wash day or just water, but that's because most refresh sprays that I've tried in the past always make my hair feel worse. It feels like producty and sticky. Even when I've used like foams and stuff to refresh, I get that feeling in my hair and it just makes it feel gross. Like I wanna go ahead and wash my hair. This is the only refreshing spray that I've found that doesn't cause that feeling. And in fact, my hair feels better after using it. It's definitely softer and it feels more moisturizing. And I've been testing it for a while and I've really liked my results with it. And so that's why this is like the one refreshing spray that I would actually use and recommend because it doesn't leave my hair feeling gross. It gives a very soft, moisturized feeling in the hair. But then again, it's not too softening either to where I lose all my definition. It's like a good balance. That looks a little bit better. It's not going to be perfect either, but that's not what we're going for, for a refresh. As I mentioned, I've been testing this product for a while now, and I've actually used it with lots of different routines. So I do have Curlsmith products in my hair right now from Wash Day, which I'll share those with you in just a moment. But I've also used this product with other brands and other routines in my hair, and it's worked great with all of them. Let's talk about how to prevent frizz in the first place, because that's really going to be key. You probably noticed that I didn't have a ton of frizz in my hair. I just had a normal amount of frizz, but if your hair looks way frizzier than this on day two, then it probably has more to do with what you're doing on wash day and what products you use or lack thereof product on wash day that caused you to have to do a ton of refreshing. So I did wanna share with you what I used in my hair on wash day because that's really key here. That product is still in my hair right now. So I actually use a little bit of the Frizz Control Duo Conditioner. This is from the Frizz Recipe and it is a multi-purpose product. So you can totally use it as a rinse out conditioner or a leave-in conditioner. So I just use some of it as a leave-in, mainly focusing it on my ends and any dry areas. But the star player was definitely the Curlsmith Shape Up Aqua Gel. So this is from the Strength Recipe. It does have some proteins in it, and I find this to be a pretty long-lasting gel. It has a lot of slip to it, and it gives me a buildable hold. It's technically labeled as a light hold gel, but I find that I can actually get more of a medium hold out of it. So I do a layering technique with that gel, which is just where I apply the gel all over to damp hair, I make sure it's not soaking wet because that just results in lighter hold because it dilutes the gel more. And then I do my usual styling routine and then I micro plop, which is just where you scrunch with a hair towel to soak up the excess water. And then I go in with a second layer of gel and I find that that adds so much more hold when using this gel because you're layering it on hair 
that is slightly more dry after you've used that towel on your hair. And that gives me a lot more hold and then I diffused. So using a product that gives your hair hold, whether that's a light to a medium to strong hold gel is going to result in a lot less frizz on refresh days. If you are just using a curl cream or a leave-in conditioner or maybe just a foam in your hair and you're getting a ton of frizz on day two, that is why. It's because that's not giving your hair enough hold, especially if you have naturally very frizzy hair like mine, or if your hair is damaged, that's not going to cut it. You definitely need a gel that at least gives like a medium to strong hold in your hair. Now, if I had used an even stronger hold gel like Curl Smith Shine Gel, that's another favorite of mine and it has humidity protection in it, I probably wouldn't even have to do any refreshing on day two, maybe just a few touch-ups using the refreshing mist. But the stronger hold gel that's in your hair on wash day, your hair is going to last so much longer. I'm just removing some of the loose hairs from underneath and kind of separating those large curl clumps. One way to tell though if your gel has enough hold is pay attention to how your gel looks and feels after you scrunch out the crunch. So your hair might dry with a cast or that crunch in it after you use it on wash day, but then if you scrunch out the crunch and your hair completely frizzes up and loses definition, or maybe it loses definition by the end of the day, then your gel didn't have enough hold. As I'm refreshing my hair, I can actually feel some of that product come back because this refreshing mist has a little bit of water in it, as I mentioned. So I'm actually feeling some of that gel cast come back a little bit in my hair as it starts to dry. And that's a great sign because then that means it's reactivating those stylers that are in your hair. So then you don't need to go add more gel and more styling products because the more you're doing that, it just kind of gunks up the hair and you feel like you need to go and wash your hair. So it's going to last a lot longer if you don't continuously add a lot more product on refresh days. I'm pretty much done refreshing my curls and I'm just going to let these air dry. But while they air dry, let's talk about more of the factors that really contribute to not having as much frizz. And the next one is your styling techniques that you do on wash day. So styling techniques involves anything from brush styling or finger coiling, or maybe even the praying hands technique, just some type of technique to enhance that curl definition, really spring up your curls and just really help them pop. If you're not doing anything and you're just kind of raking your products in and leaving it, maybe you're just doing a little bit of scrunching, that's great and all, it's definitely quick, but you're probably not gonna get as long lasting curls as you could as if you did some type of styling technique. So I like to do a combination of brush styling and finger coiling in my routine on wash day. I will usually brush my product through, including my gel. I apply the Shape Up Aqua Gel first, then I brush style and that gives me max definition. Brush styling also helps to smooth frizz in the hair. It smooths out all those little tiny kinks that can happen in the hair. And you're also defining the curls. As I mentioned, I'm able to just air dry with this product. And that is huge for me because I've always been someone that has had to diffuse even on refresh days. And that's because I'm usually adding water to my hair and water resets the hydrogen bonds in our hair, which is responsible for the shape and that structure. And so our curls are going to become more elongated naturally when we're adding water. Water. And so I usually end up with very stringy curls when I refresh, which results in a lot of those like longer pieces hanging down. I have more elongated pieces and I'd like to diffuse to kind of shrink everything back up. But when I refresh with just using shake and shine and not adding any water, I can just air dry my hair because my hair is barely even damp. Like my hair doesn't feel wet. It just feels like kind of like when you go out in humidity and your hair starts to feel a little bit damp. That's kind of how it feels but it's not like wet to the touch, if that makes sense. So I don't feel the need to go and diffuse my hair. Now you probably definitely could if you did use a lot of it, or maybe you did use some water, I would diffuse. That way you can kind of set your curl shape back into place and you can get a lot longer lasting results. But since I didn't use water, I can still get long lasting results with just using Shake and Shine, which is nice. And I find that it even looks better a little bit after it's fully dried out after I finished refreshing. So while I finish air drying, let's talk about why you should avoid soaking your hair down with water. So our hair swells when it gets wet and that definitely causes the cuticle to expand out. It's more susceptible to damage in that state. 
And that also puts a lot of stress on our hair's inner workings on the cortex and the cuticle layer when it's swelling and then lowering constantly because it lowers back down when it dries. So you really want to avoid soaking and saturating your hair every day with water. Now you can totally mist your hair with a little bit of water because that's going to dry pretty quickly but you do want to avoid soaking your hair. So that's getting in the shower and completely wetting your hair down and restyling it or completely saturating your hair with your spray bottle. Now, obviously we're all going to probably have to do that some if you do have to do more of a full refresh and you don't have time to actually wash your hair, but ideally you're not doing that every single day. If you've been doing a full refresh every day by soaking your hair and you're noticing that your hair is becoming more elongated and it's like stretched out, it's not really bouncing back up and you don't have that curl retention, then that's likely why you have put a lot of stress on your hair. You're probably going to need to add in some protein with in your routine. For example, using a gel like the Shape Up Aqua Gel that has a little bit of protein in it, maybe doing a protein deep conditioner or a bond curl treatment to help to restore some of that curl retention. Also keep in mind that your curls will last longer as your hair health improves. So if you're currently transitioning from maybe heat styling and bleach and color damage, to wearing your natural curls and you're new to wearing your natural curls, then it is totally normal for your curls to not last very long because the higher porosity our hair is and the more damaged our hair is, the less likely it's going to hold on to moisture and hold its shape into day two, into day three. So you probably are gonna have to do a little bit of refreshing and restyle your curls. You still don't wanna be completely saturating your hair, but it's not gonna last quite as long when it is damaged. But your hair health will improve and it will last a lot longer. That's one of the biggest things that I noticed as my hair was transitioning and once I finally got the remaining bit of damage cut off my hair because I gradually grew my hair out, I noticed my hair was so much easier to maintain and lasted so much longer. I used to do so much refreshing, which in turn definitely caused more damage to my hair because I was soaking my hair, I was detangling with product in, and I had to use a ton of Stronghold gel to really get any sort of hold and curl definition. And now I can get away with some lighter hold products. I don't have to do as much refreshing and it lasts so much longer. So if I could go back in time and tell myself one thing back then when I was transitioning, it was to get that damage cut off sooner because you do have to cut off the damage to fully repair it. I wish I would have done that sooner. I just kind of gradually grew it out and got frequent trims but it just kind of drug the process out more and it was still hard to maintain and to manage when I had just a little bit of damage holding on to the last few inches of my hair because those ends would really frizz up and just sort of ruin the whole hairstyle. So trust the process and focus on improving your hair's health and refreshing will get a lot easier. Let's talk about sleep protection. I'm sure a lot of you already know this, but if you're not protecting your curls, you're definitely gonna end up with frizz on refresh days and going to have to do a lot more refreshing. But I have three options for you here. The first is definitely a critical and I think everyone should have one and that is a silk or a satin pillowcase. So this one's actually from Curlsmith. They definitely have one of my favorite vegan silk pillowcases that I use all the time. So it's an envelope style pillowcase. You can see it has the Curlsmith logo right there. And I like this one in particular because it's very slippery and smooth. So the curls just glide right over it. It's not gonna cause any friction and it's not gonna cause frizz while you're sleeping. Another option is to tie your hair up in a scarf. So this is the Curlsmith Vegan Silk Scarf. It's really pretty, but you can do different styles with this. I also use a scarf a lot of times to protect my curls when I'm at the beach or if I'm at the pool to keep my hair protected from the humidity and the wind. And it's also great for sleep protection. If you're traveling, you just wanna take one thing, you could totally just take something like this or you could even drape it over your pillow. And last but not least is my favorite method and that is sleeping with a silk or a satin bonnet. This one actually has an adjustable band. I can link all of these down below for you, but this one is nice because it keeps my curls up off of my neck. It keeps them kind of plopped up and they stay protected because it does provide that slippery barrier between your curls and whatever surface you're laying on. So I even wear my bonnet while I work out because I work out at home. Sometimes I even leave it on when I get in the shower and I just put my shower cap on over it. That way I can still take a shower and not get my curls wet. So now my hair has fully air dried and I'm able to kind of fluff out the roots. So if you want to get more volume, that's a great way to do it. And it also kind of 
softens it up a little bit and you can see the hair kind of grows. And it's a lot more like separated now because I did separate some of those larger curl clumps because I wanted to get more volume, but I could have kind of left them clumped if I wanted a more like super defined clumped look, but I like a little bit more of those smaller curl clumps so that way I have more volume in my hair. So my hair does not feel sticky at all. It's also not super crunchy. It doesn't add any like stickiness or texture on the hair. It more so adds softness, I find. I do think this could be suitable for any curl type, whether if you have wavy, curly, or coily hair. I would say if you have a finer texture hair, you would want to make sure that you don't use too much of this. If you use too much product, you might feel that oil on your hair because it does have some oils in it. So you don't want to go overboard. I would say that with any hair type, you don't want to use too much of it. You really don't need a ton. I've really been enjoying it. As I mentioned, I've been testing this for a while. I had the pleasure of testing it out early so that way I could truly get a good grasp on how to use it to where I could share it with you guys. And it's been one of the few refreshing sprays that I have actually liked and one that I do recommend because previously I didn't really find them necessary, but I have been enjoying this one. And it also really helps with dryness. So if your curls get dry on day two, if you live in a dry climate or if you have low porosity hair, I think this would be excellent for that. So I'm definitely gonna be using this probably a lot more in the fall and the winter time as the air starts to get drier, but I've really been enjoying it this summer as I've been testing it out. Let me know what you think of this product down below. Does it seem like something that you would use in your curls? Let me know in the comments what you think. And if you want to see the routine that I did prior to this, so my wash day routine, I actually have that posted on my channel. I did a low maintenance routine using the Curl Smith Shape Up Aqua Gel. I also use a bit of the hairspray as well to add more hold. So if you wanna see that wash day routine that you would do prior to this refresh, I will have that linked right here on the screen. So check that out after this video and I will talk to you over there. Bye everyone.